in 2003, these guys came to my attention, Tom Knight and Drew Endy. And they were really uh, important in raising the awareness of synthetic biology. They're both engineers, which was significant. <laughs> they didn't come from the world of biology naturally. They started to bring engineering ideas into biology. And they created a little program called iGEM, which you may have heard about and you'll certainly hear more about, International Genetically Engineered Machines. And really, all they were doing was taking some of the very simple ideas from electronics, like these hobby kits. I know I had one when I was a kid, and maybe you did too, where you, if you take certain components and allow people to rewire them in different ways, you can make different projects, because the com components can be reused and reconfigured. And they took ideas like this, where you actually go out and market to kids. This was a comic book that Radio Shack put out that just gave enough information about their computers that you, kids would go and bug their parents to buy them a computer. And we saw that it actually did create a generation of whiz kids. So Drew and Tom and others created a registry of standard biological parts, essentially genetic components, both in electronic form and a physical form. And they made comic books. And they said, go out and make things. And they started with one team at MIT, some parts that were funded by DARPA, and this program has grown because they've said, anything you make, share how you made it, share the parts. And because all the parts fit together like Lego, if someone builds a more sophisticated part, takes components and builds an amplifier, now you can use that amplifier in a more complex, complex system. This was last year. There were about 950 people participating. This year, there's 112 teams registered, about 1,500 people from 25 countries. It's still growing, and I spend a lot of my time trying to hook more people into this. That kit of parts is now worth approximately three or $4 million in terms of aggregate value, and we just give it away. And now we're pushing people from high schools are starting to move into it. Um, that's the big growth area right now, and I'd love to see it go down into junior high. And this variant of iGEM, do-it-yourself biology, spun off of it last year, and it's moving even faster because it doesn't have the same rules and structures as the iGEM program, which is now largely a competition. 